Yes, the halls around New Hampshire might be decked, but it doesn't mean fires, emergencies, and crime take a break. You first sign a dotted line saying you want to become a firefighter, police officer, even a nurse, a doctor, a dispatcher, you know that you're going to work holidays. In Manchester, roughly a quarter of the city's firefighters are working at 10 stations. The Jewish community actually brought in this food for us right here. Sharing a Christmas breakfast is just one way to bond. But first responders like Jason say they work to help those with families or young children get the days off. I can only imagine. Uh, I know um, for what he told me that definitely made his daughter's day and that makes me happy. And for those who have to work, leaning on one another is key to maintaining their holiday spirit. Paramedics have been busy this Christmas responding to 18 calls before lunch. Show you what's going on here. I came in at 10 o'clock to start cooking this lunch and it's now uh, almost a quarter after one and the crews have been out on the road. Thanks to the captain, the food may not go cold, but the alarms aren't slowing down either. There's really no rhyme or reason. I mean, Christmas could be slow, Christmas could be busy, New Year's Eve could be the same. It could be slow, we could be could be busy. We never know and we can't predict when somebody's going to need us. And staying on edge when the rest of the world seemingly comes to a halt is a reminder of why we should not take first responders for granted. Just say thank you very much and just appreciate what some of these people do when you have the day off and everything and we're all working. In Manchester, Mike Cherry, WMUR News 9.